We can confirm without a doubt as our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. Odysseus, America's first spacecraft to touch down on moon after a five decade long gap. Named after the Greek hero Odysseus, famous for his long journey or odyssey, trying to return home after the war with Troy, Odysseus too has found its home. Although the signal reception from the lander module is faint and it is not certain whether the lander developed by intuitive machines is fully operational, this is a significant milestone nonetheless for the Houston-based company which has landed America's first spacecraft on the moon in over 50 years on Wednesday. The landing is also significant as it has come after another American private company failed in its moon mission. Odysseus touched down on the moon in just six days after launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It entered a low lunar orbit soon after and the lander prepared for its planned touchdown in the early evening on Wednesday. Odysseus touched down near the lunar south pole at 11.23 Greenwich Mean Time, deaccelerating from 4,000 miles per hour to zero. This hexagon-shaped vessel is part of a new fleet of NASA-funded unmanned commercial robots. Except confirming the news of the touchdown, the company did not provide immediate updates on the condition or precise whereabouts of the lander. Mission Director Tim Crane stated that the team was assessing ways to enhance the single signal received from the lander Odysseus. Odysseus is carrying instruments on board which will perform several scientific experiments on the moon for NASA. The landing site, Malapod A, lies within an impact crater located 300 kilometers from the lunar south pole. Odysseus is carrying various instruments including cameras to study lunar surface changes caused by spaceship engine plumes and a device to analyze charged dust particle clouds formed during twilight due to solar radiation. The race to the moon, which started with India successfully launching and landing Chandrayaan-3 on the moon last year, has pushed several other countries to attempt landing on the moon. India so far is the first and the only country to land a mission on moon's south pole and achieve all its mission objectives. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission successfully landed near the moon's south pole on August 23, 2023, whereas Odysseus landed in Malapot A, a crater just 300 kilometers away from the moon's south pole. But whether it will be able to achieve its mission objectives remains to be seen. Last year, Russian Lunar 25, which was supposed to land on the lunar surface a day before India's Chandrayaan-3, crashed and burned while attempting to land. Japan's Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, or SLIM, successfully touched down on the lunar surface, targeting the rim of the small, mid-latitude Shioli crater on January 19th.